your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now. I'll keep you safe, I'll give you my everything Even if we're falling down Even if we're falling down All of me is yours, every part of me Cause we're in this together now You and me together now What's the point of living if we're scared to lose each other? What's the point of living without you? Tell me now and I'll stop fighting Tell me now and I'll stop breathing I don't want to be here without you Without you I'll be your light, I'll keep you from darkness Even when the sun don't shine Even when the sun don't shine Give me your strength, show me your weakness Cause we're in this together now You and me together now The first time I ever laid eyes on you, I was freezing, sleep deprived, a little woozy from the elevation on my first hike in the Colorado Rockies. Nothing could have prepared me for the grueling hike ahead as I clamored to keep up with your superhuman strength. There you were, charging up the mountain with a puppy in your backpack. <laughs> and I was thinking, who is this man and why do his legs move so fast? we ascended the side of the peak, you were gentle and encouraging, saying things like, you're doing great, keep it up, all while I was clearly teetering on the edge of cardiac arrest. Little did I realize at this point was that encouragement and willingness to walk with others through difficulties is one of your many attributes. Fast forward three years, and here we are at the altar together. There have been joys upon joys, challenges upon challenges, and all the while, your passion and spirit of encouragement remain. The way in which we both have grown relationally gives me so much excitement and inspiration for what the future has to hold for us. 
There are so many reasons why I love you and want to spend the rest of my life with you. You are kind, honorable, steadfast, adventurous, and full of joy. You care deeply for others, and I have never known you to forsake a friend. You make me laugh with your extraordinary ability to mispronounce words, and your relentless pursuit of truth is inspirational. My prayer for our marriage is that we will never lose sight of the one who has gifted us life, our creator, our healer, our provider, Jesus Christ. I pray that he will remain the cornerstone of every decision, the center of every plan, and the foundation of every motive. I pray that every facet of our family and marriage will be saturated in his perfect love, drenched in his presence, and fragrant with his peace. There is no better place to be than in his unconditional love. With this prayer in mind, I vow to love you and be faithful to you as we pursue Christ at the center of our relationship. I vow to forgive you and to ask for your forgiveness. I vow to rejoice with you in times of great joy, and I vow to hold you up in the moments when you feel like you can go on. I vow to love you in times of abundance and in times of want. I vow to be your encourager, your supporter, your best friend, and your confidant. I love you with all of my heart. Christy, from the first time I laid eyes on you at the Quandary Peak Trailhead outside Breckenridge, I knew you were one of a kind. Following seven months of long distance and subsequent two years that led us here today, I only solidified and expanded my love for you, for your tenacity and diligence, your intellect and professional acumen, your emphasis on family and friends, uh, your passion for justice among the overlooked and marginalized, your spirit for adventures of all sorts, from mountain forays to thrifting along with your ability to bring me a reality check when I attempt to climb a mountain that could be a bit much, such as that one back there. And of course, most importantly, your devotion to and prioritization of God and his work. Christy, you're truly the overall package and a sexy one of that. I could go on and on and on about the things I love, respect, and admire about you, and I pledge to affirm you more and more every day for the rest of our lives. But for sake of brevity, I want to make clear and publicly state my commitments to you. Christy, I vow to point you towards Christ every day, despite my many imperfections, and to ensure that honoring and serving God is always at the center of our marriage. I commit to being intentional about pursuing your heart and to perpetually affirm the immeasurable beauty of your spirit, soul, and body. Vulnerability with one another will be a cornerstone of our marriage, and I pledge to cherish, cherish, hold dear, commend, and support your emotions, dreams, and life goals, just as you do the same for me. I will keep my heart open to you as our story is well. I vow to do my best to open my heart and help Jeep up open his heart to a cat or maybe more. I will not overlook the importance of food on long drives, afternoon hikes, or curious rainies. And I will never again suggest you eat an energy gel, or as you call them, Satan syrup, <laughs> for the rest of our days. <laughs> You're always welcome to my McFlurry, waffle fries, or really anything else, and I won't hesitate when you subtly point out a drive through I commit to exploring coffee shops, bookstores, libraries, thrift stores, museums, hikes, lakes, mountains, and more with you, and one day our children as we go about life. Since it's one of your love languages, I vow to invest in and foster my relationship with coffee so that I can better love, honor, and captivate you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Christy, I look forward to facing the joys, tears, and challenges, and triumphs of life together. To paraphrase Paul, James, and other biblical authors, trials build perseverance from which grow character and hope. We both know it won't always be easy, but as a unit, as a couple unified under the provision of God, I'm confident that we will conquer the challenges that come our way with peace, joy, and love. I vow to do my very best to create a good life and family with you, and I'm so excited for the fun things God has in store for us. Christy, 
I love you more today than I have any day up to now, and I will love you and choose to love you tomorrow more than today, and even more the day after that. Here, with this sacred vow, I commit to loving you more and more every day for the rest of our lives. You really are the love of my life, and I'm so extraordinarily grateful to get to call you my one love. Just some energy to 